Without further ado, I'm just going to kick it off and say, man, what a week we just experienced here in North Louisiana. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm thinking, is the rest of the world finally thawed out? I, we are, thank God. I, yeah. I, I'll say Texas, that. Texas, yeah. Hey, that was bad business over there, boys. We finally beat Texas at something other than football. <laughs> we kept our power. Hey. But the only reason we kept power is because we got ripped a new one from two hurricanes. If we hadn't have done that and lost every tree over every power line, we'd probably been out of power too. I would just so. say 2020 was not good. All right. And 2021. He ain't started much better. It ain't he? looking much better, boys. <laughs> He's slow out to shoot, you know, ain't good, he? Good, good. So all you <laughs> folks out there, are you all good? I hope you are. And I hope it's warm. How was the snowstorm at your house? Hey, look, I was like, I was like a bear. Was you? I was like a big grizzly bear. I went into hibernation. <laughs> well, that, you do that right. during June, so that well, don't hey, surprise look, me. When it, hey, when it drops below 60, no, I got to break out a coat. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when you come from Vietnam with 115 every day to Massachusetts, okay, Boston, Massachusetts, up at Fort Devens, where they have snow about 10 months out of the year. No, I, 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 I can't do that. I no. found out after five days I'm not equipped to live places where you can't walk outside. Oh, no, that, no. That's why I'm called a fair weather hunter. Guaranteed. Because when the ice shows up, guess what? The old boy here is gone. <laughs> the kid he, is he's gone. He's still at the house under a blanket sleeping. Oh, oh I so, guarantee you. Our power went out for a little while. Did you? Oh yeah, you were you were the night I lost power because we live right there by each yeah. other. So, so I ro- about I'll, an hour. Wait yeah. a minute, you the one that called me and told me if if the power goes out, come to my house. That's right, come to my house, and then my right. power went out. It's a good thing out. my power just blinked every once in a while. I never did go off. You just had a few flickers. Yeah, oh, I had a few flickers, and every time it did, it just, uh, well, here's what. Hold on, hang on, hang on. Here's what I learned about that power going out when it's that cold outside. It was only off for, what, an hour? About an hour. Hour, hour and ten minutes, something like that. It got cold up in that house quick. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I'm talking about cold. Yeah, so. that's why when I get to seeing these uh, commercials on what is it, Generex? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You may ought to look into one. Yeah, I was thinking about. You could probably Hello? power you could probably What power is your... the, uh, give me an estimate here, son. <laughs> What the, how much what? is this going to set me back? What are I we did get about? you an estimate, remember? The whole like, home generator. Oh, yeah. That ain't why I ain't got one. Yeah, that's I why you estimate? ain't got one. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's what I, I knew it had to be something with money. So I, I drove by to check on Cy, me and my wife, and I mean, there's nobody driving down the roads on Cy's road. The the mayor the mayor of Philpot, I mean, that's what they call Cy. No, they say they, I'm the mayor of the. Uh, B- Balkanville. Uh, oh, Balkanville. <laughs> yeah. Not the big, that's just hey, past Balkanville. They made, my, they made my territory a bigger boy. Expanded his territory. Expanded. Oh. So, I, so I knock on the door, and finally Miss Christine comes to the door, and she says, come on in, you know, and we sit in business. How's everything going? We're fine. We're good. Wait I said, where's what, si? what time of day is this? <laughs> this is like 1 o'clock. Okay. He was at your house. You don't know? Hey. Oh, no, he don't no, know. No, no. He was, he, he, look, hey, I 12, thought. Uh, 12 on is noon, noon time. That's nap time, son. It sounded like a bear in the back room. I said, what's going on? She said, oh, that's this side oh, back there that? sleeping. It's, it's the bear hibernating, son. So you legitimately just <laughs> oh, slept no, no, through look, the week. Hey, I didn't mind the cold a bit because I never did leave the house. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even go I, outside. One time I done like sweet pea. I went to the window and looked, and I said, oh, ain't them pretty icicles. <laughs> And guess, guess where I went back to? The bed. <laughs> hey. So you didn't chase Christine around the house with snowballs no. or nothing like that? Y'all didn't have no, no snowball hey, fights? Look, you I've done told y'all, if you see me running after anything, get your gun and shoot what's chasing me. Oh, Lord. Hey, maybe it may be another young woman. Who knows? Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I'd, so maybe. Si- Oh, hey, they're still, they're still after me. Oh, guaranteed. They ain't after you, son. They're after that bank account. Oh, this Martin, I got, I got a hey. question. Huh? What what is Cy wearing? Oh, this is I'm, t-shirt. I must, I must have oh, missed out confused. on that. Are, are, we con- confused are we confused about the, the, the insulated underwear, Good the me. shirt, you or the hat? The which hat. one are, oh, which one are we? <laughs> <laughs> For those <laughs> listening. Snow, snow White's in front of me here. Tell me, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Man, uh, my, uh, hi. Hi. 
For those just listening I, and not watching, he's standing up, taking his hat off. I don't know what he's doing. No, oh, he's, I'm fixing to lay his hat down. Oh, you're getting rid of the hat. I wore okay. Lay, lay it down. Honor, my little friend. So I walked in with a felt hat. Okay, so hey, look, J.D., I don't know what's... Don't make me unbox that. He also brought his pistol in for me to repair, so we've already got that out of the way. And he said he might pistol whip me, so... He's always wanted to pistol whip somebody. The one that plays in Die Hard. Bruce Bruce Willis. Willis. My my, my motto is always, you got to be prepared, son. Be prepared. He's prepared. And be by, prepared. And behind him, he's got his oxygen machine. So he is prepared. Yeah, right, he's to make come his way. I'm I was to huffing and puffing coming in here, but now that I've sat down and relaxed, I'm all right. Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> so I ain't going to break it out. <laughs> hey, you got to learn to get off of it every once in a while. He's, he's yeah. weaning he's, himself he's, off he's, the oxygen. Those two right. boys. <laughs> Doctor's <laughs> orders. Robbing it down. <laughs> yeah. Those, well, are, just, those say, are just suggestions. Oh, yeah, that's Lord. suggestions, boys. Oh, my goodness gracious. Well, hey, I'm telling you, I just. I realized five days inside is too much. I went so crazy that I shoveled my driveway. Yeah, that was loony times. That, that's what I did to get out of the house. He I mean, was, huh, he was sick. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling yeah. you, I was. Yeah. I was. Well, mm-hmm. the biggest thing right. is I was trying to not to become a domestic abuse uh, statistic because oh, I, okay. I think my woman was about to beat me. We, <laughs> oh. we done had way too much time okay. inside together. Hey, way that's too the thing. Much. Look, yep, the pandemic. Yeah. The divorce rate is sky high. Guaranteed. Cause every, hey, because everybody's got to stay home, they're afraid to get sick. Hey, divorce rate went up like, oh, good grief. You know, like that, uh, what that thing we, we got a commercial about, we do uh, getting your score up. Oh, yeah. yeah. Score, yeah. score yeah. master. Score master, yeah. We're hey. going to get to that one oh, here hey. a little bit. Score master, no, divorce rate is up like 50%. Hey, that probably makes that score master go down if right. I had to guess. Oh, well, but. that's true. That's probably so. <laughs> it's not good for the bank account. Yeah. Because oh, you got to have mama, okay, to spend papa's money. Yeah, well. That's I'm why just, papa had to get a brand new bag. I'm just telling you, I'm, I'm not made the... The thing about the pandemic was when they first told us to stay at home, we could still go fishing. This thing, you couldn't go fishing. You couldn't you, get out you, your driveway. No, uh-huh. you just stuck unless, there. Unless you want to ice fish. And who wants to do that? Yeah. I think say, I tried it once. That's hey. dumb. Yeah, that's off the bucket list. Yeah. Scratch that one. Oh, we got a bunch of emails this week Uh-oh. making fun of us because we won't ice fish. Yeah. And Uh-oh. after just looking outside this week, I'm never going to. No. <laughs> I'm not made for Well, this. hey, I have tried it. Yeah. It was 20 below hey. uh-uh. when we yeah. went. And look, yeah. and people are driving pickups, okay, with street tires out on this lake that's covered with two, three foot of snow. Nope. And then when they, but then the one that said, you know, <laughs> and they, yeah, they ain't going yeah. nowhere. I said, yeah. well, he's going to spend the night out here. And as long as he's got gas, he's all right. He'll be all right. But hey, <laughs> but once that gas run out, he finna get cold. <laughs> I'll yeah. tell you what else we did while we were there. But since we were there, we went ahead and got on the sled and rode the the sled with the the dogs. Dog sled. Dogs. Awesome. Dog sled. Awesome. Hey. That was probably the best part of the you trip. You were a musher. Oh no no no! Back in them days when that's how they got around, and when it was north to Alaska for the gold rush and all that, you'd have never made it. He's putting his hat uh, back on. My hat is off to them boys. <laughs> and now he's taking it off. <laughs> because, hey, I ain't in their class. <laughs> Trust me. I'm not even in the class of people that live north of, like, Missouri. Can't oh, do it. I can tell you right now, after this experience, your boy is as far north as he's going. I ain't, uh-uh. Hey, uh-uh. Jace is fixing no. to move. Who is? Jace. I'm where's telling you. Where's he He's headed? already moved. Like, you know, he's, he's in between West Monroe and Austin, Texas. Because of his daughter going to school. And both of them just got shut down. So are you telling me that stuff follows Jace? Well, no, no, no. Oh. But Jace, I'm talking about Jace is fixing to go north for one thing. Greenheads. No. Oh. Okay. He's fixing to move north to kill some more ducks. Is he? Yeah, probably. Man. It wouldn't surprise me. He's doing so well in the stock market. He's going to have the money to do it, so hey. Well, I'm just glad he's found all his free time since yep. he don't work here anymore. So <laughs> I'm, I'm glad he's found something to do. Well, hey, he didn't work when he was here. I know. But <laughs> but they did come do but, their podcast here. Yeah. <laughs> and left it a mess. Tell like, them, si. The unashamed no. crew did roll in here and just just crap all over our Spit set pretty cups. much. Yeah. 
just well, what's the unashamed crew doing in our set? Because they got ashamed of living down there, so they come up here. It was too icy. Yeah, they yeah. had to. They had to oh, meet up oh, here. Oh, yeah, okay. Middle. When work, nothing was working down there. Okay. Yeah, oh, I guess. Yeah, I see it. I see it. Now. Al came by my house and got the key. Yeah. I went outside in my slippers and shorts and nearly died of freezing. Yeah, we had to give Phil, Al, and Jace a key. We had to drop them a pin on where the office was because it's been so long since they've been here. They don't forget that. <laughs> they didn't know how to get in. Didn't know the security code. Didn't know nothing. Well, hey. But the rest of us do. Well, no, no. Okay. I mean, you. That's a Robertson thing. Well, you know where it is. You know how to get well, here. Well, hey, yeah, but you started saying keys and uh, office. Uh, what is it, the combination to the little. <laughs> <laughs> the Phil would say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, the Robertson ain't into that. Now, Jason's into it, you know, because of his stock market stuff. Now you got hey, to lock up all, all right. that money. Son. So, Jason's hey. moving north? That's just my opinion. I'm going south. I, it won't look. It won't shock me when the, he comes up and says, "Yeah, hey, I'm going to you know, Kansas or somewhere up there where, it, nah. you know, they take a chainsaw to duck hunt." Yeah, I'm going to Puerto Rico. Uh, yeah, I'm Cancun. Hey, go the ahead. music and the women boys. Dance it out. Son. Look, hey. you can tell hey. Size had a week off, hey. but look, <laughs> he's rested up. Hey. Size energy level is a little bit higher today, Martin. Uh, I can tell. Uh, hey, he's my, like the score hey, master in the level divorce is room. down. Huh? My oxygen level is down, and my energy level is up. What's with the that? You're, you're you're recovering. Oh. So look, while you're recovering, let's take a break to recover from what we've heard so far. We'll be right back. <laughs> Did you know? Did, did you know? Did know what, you know? Martin? Did you know? Isn't there a sign? I mean, song? Know? Now you did know. You know. Tell me about it. Tell oh, me yeah, it is. Know. Mary, did you know? The average person has 97 points. That's 97 points that they can quickly add to their credit score, but most of them have no idea how to get it. The good news is the score master credit sciences have unlocked the algorithm to make this happen for you. So you can gain 97 points. Just like that. Most people gain an average of 61 points in 21 days or less, which over the life of a loan for your car, save you like 10 grand over the life of a loan for your house, can save you up to like 100 grand. We've had the listener type in, email in to us, telling us that he raised his by 135 points. So the science is real. The facts are real. Look, all you have to do is go to scoremaster.com slash duck, sign up for a free account, see how many points you can add to your score. That's scoremaster.com slash duck it puts you in control of your finances boom that's not what that song was about but. yeah i remember you boys you robertson boys hate technology but i love it because while we're doing this podcast i'm sitting here watching my buddies fish so no 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 that's i don't get that i don't have nothing against it he's for it you just don't want it i know i'm for it it hates except, him it hates no, no, si. except if I touched that, it would probably destroy JD's phone. <laughs> okay, because it's something about me that uh, technology just does not like. Trust me when I tell you, I've tried. I've tried to help Si with all this stuff. You know, uh, it won't work. It's not gonna work with it him. It won't work. It won't work. Well, that's why you got to get you a guy. Oh wait, you got it. one. He's got that's a guy. Why I got my handler. <laughs> and he and he does use it, but he just uses it through me. If uh, no, no, no. That's, that's not, a Robertson thing. No, too. no, that's Rob thing because Phil said, Oh, I've never owned one. I've never done all yeah. that. But Martin, hey. Martin, get Miss K on the phone. Tell uh, yeah. her we're coming yeah. back. Get yeah. lunch ready. No, <laughs> you know, get Miss K and say, see what's for dinner. Weather report. Yeah. My favorite. Uh, hey, my check fa- that one and see where that storm's at. No. My favorite Philism is, Oh, I don't need a watch. I just say it's a little in the morning. It's almost yeah. noon. It's after, it's after yeah. lunch. Hey, it's after and then the daylight. first thing every morning. Yes, what time is it? Yeah, how much time we got to the legal? I don't need no watch. How much time we got to the legal? That's right, that's right. Is it legal like, Huh. I, I, I thought you didn't need a watch there, you know. Right. I mean, but well, As long as you got people with you with all this stuff, it's fine. Yeah, he's a good manager. That's how hey. Willie is, too. Willie will text me pictures of things that he wants me to order off of Amazon for him. <laughs> I'm like, you can see the button. Yeah. Just press that one. No. Add the no. cart. No. Add the cart. Okay. Screenshot it, send it to me. Son, you'll understand when you get the kind of money that Willie's got. <laughs> oh, hey, you don't friend. Punch, you don't punch no buttons. I don't. No. Okay, I don't. you pay somebody else just to punch the button. I'm just gonna say I'm glad you're confident. I'm gonna have the kind of money Willie's got. <laughs> oh you know. yeah. Well, hey, hey, look. Mark that one down. Hey, you. If you st- hang around someone long enough, if you hang around you I, long enough. Osmosis will kick in and you'll get part of it. Okay. <laughs> 
osmosis. I'm, that's why I'm surrounding myself by that's you right. once a week and Willie Dunn. Right, right here, boys. Oh, Let's go. Right. Go for it. You Martin. Gotta, you got to recognize your cash cow, son. That's all it is to it. Side, huh? did you watch the Weather Channel at all last week? No, because it's disheartening this to heart. watch it. Disheartening. Disheartening. Well, well you'd, have got a, you'd have got a, you'd have got a pretty <laughs> hey. good chuckle from when they were standing in front of Academy doing a live one, and your your nephew went down there and did donuts behind. Was it? Him. Do we know that guy? No, I'm just. A, well, I'm <laughs> sure we. Yes, I'm sure we do. <laughs> what do we actually is, know who it was? Hey, so it, on the weather uh, channel, G, uh, JG. Oh, I don't know who it was, but I guarantee <laughs> oh, you, someone that was behind the camera doing donuts, and it was a hundred. You could see it from the front door. I'm like, hey, look, they're right in front of work, and all of a sudden, <laughs> there's some redneck in the biggest truck you've ever seen just doing donuts behind the weather channel. Yeah, that'd guy. be J <laughs> JG. And, well, the, and hey, the cameraman yeah. was just moving, trying to get him out of the view, but yeah. every time, no, he's, yeah. hey, he's no, never no, driven on ice no, before. That, that truck knew where right where to be, baby. Oh, uh, hey, all I saw was the Finn Commander sticker on back. Oh, oh, hey. Well, there was. <laughs> hey, oh. I was there really one? Hey, speaking of that, I can't wait till it gets warm enough for all that to crank back up. What, fishing? Oh, yeah. Well, you can oh, go right now. Yeah. No, hey. They no. got to be biting. They've been no. freezing hey. to death for a week. Yeah, but hey, look. No, that's a rule. What? I don't go to the lake and freeze my tail off just to catch a white perch. Oh. Mm. No. He's got now, stones. I will go out and burn up to do it. Yeah. Well, I like them both. Right. I'm, no, I'm ready to go fishing, that's for sure. Well, We're... We're, me and you both. Yeah, we're getting there. Because, hey, we, no, let me, I don't go fishing. You go catch. I go catching. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, because Stone yeah. has got all this sonar equipment. It's a good thing he does, okay? Because all I do is get in the boat. Cast here. No, 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 real, no. Real I get here. in the boat. Stone said, boom, 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 boom. Hey, he says, okay, this is the first one. He throws out the buoy, throws out the second buoy, and says, okay, right there between them two buoys, it's about... A two foot square, hit it, and then give it a ten count. What? And hey, as long as you hit that square and say one, two, three, four, five, six, we're going to ten. Seven, yeah, we're gonna make eight, it. Nine, nine, ten. Oh, oh, there it is. And we continue. Whoa. Bing, 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 bing. Hey. Oh, about a pound and a half. Throw him in the boat. That's uh, what fishing throw is. Throw him in the cooler, boy. <laughs> that's how stone fishes. Hey, oh yeah. With, that's how, that's the only way we fish, son. Oh yeah. They on them, hey, if they on them clear water hey, black crappies. Hey, if it's about five casts and ain't not, uh-uh. Moving on. Ooh, uh -uh. Next, next bus stop. Yeah. And look, what's good about it? You're looking at big screen there, and we pulled up the one. And he said, "You got to come look at this." I'm up the front the boat sitting now. And look, I wish it had been night because this looked like a giant Christmas tree. Okay, and they didn't have colored lights. They only had white ones. And look, this giant tree, oh, they must have had a thousand lights on it. You know, and Stone said, but they're little. <laughs> they're all little bitty crappies. The lights he's talking about is crappies sitting yeah. on the tree. Oh, okay. Ah, Y'all have never, okay. never seen a side image hey. sonar screen. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, we do it the old fashioned hey, way. It, in it the was pond literally, hey, yeah. 1,000 crappie in that tree, but hey, they're all about this size. Mm. And I mean, hand size. I'm talking about, hey, you yeah. throw it in there and let it get to about 18. Boom. 18. Boom. But hey, as fast as you can get it down to 18. Boom. Yeah. But yeah. It ain't no funny. Too well, a lot, a lot of size fishing stories, I mean, I, 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 I wouldn't believe them, but I have seen a lot of them. And oh, so hey. I, oh, yeah. now I believe a lot of them, Look, a lot more of them. Finn Commander is filming this, okay? So every time we raise that lid on that cooler when we're fixing the lead, there's somebody in the background doing doing donuts and well, they have people doing backflips and everything else. It's a circus because when they look in there and see that level four with them black crappie, <laughs> black crappie, yeah. You know, and then the next best thing is, tell me, when we gonna have the fish fry? Yeah, fish they, fry. For those y'all listening, they on that Caney Lake bag. Y'all leave yeah. Darbone alone. That's oh, yeah. where I stay. Oh, hey, you can no, have Darbone. No. <laughs> you can have uh, Darbone. That's a gar hole anyway. Oh, it ain't no gar hole. No, gar no. Gar hey, I'm just being. I'm joking. Yeah, I mean, it is a gar hole. Don't go up there. Ain't we no, fished, we no fished fish Darbo when in. we was in college. Yeah, ain't no fish left in it. Y'all caught them all. So, hey, what about in between my majors and minors, I did make it to the lake and fish. What was what? your major? Hold on. What, what, Partying what, what, what? was the major. Okay. Women was the minor. Boom. And both of them go together. Call me later. Did you, call me later. Did you pass <laughs> either one of them? Huh? Oh, I made A, a in both of them. <laughs> Dean's did I, list. Did, huh? I, did I get a degree? 
Bonk. So that means you passed party. Oh, there right, you go. Right. I get it. I oh, see no. the correlation. No, there. Mom said she was paying for it. And she said, I said, Mom, you wasted your money. She said, well, make it a good one. Well, I did. How many years did you go to college? Once, and, a, me- once a semester. Oh, so. Uh, that was all I could take. Half a year. College was JD, the best 12 years of his life. Hey, no. J.D. No, that was second look, grade. It didn't, <laughs> take, it didn't take me eight years to get a master's degree to figure out that the little man is always going to be the little man. Okay, society is set up to keep you where you're at. Okay, oh boy, and look it's at you. It's only gonna be a yeah. few. It's only gonna be a few big dogs. Okay, and, and you're one dogs. of them. Yeah. Hey, roof, hey, roof, it, roof. it only took you 68 years to maximize potential. No, look, he, hey, he no. finally made it. Hey, you oh, might no. be the mayor, but you're still the mayor. Oh no, hey, yeah, but hey, I won't guess what. <laughs> Oh, the Lord. creator is responsible for all of this, okay? I had nothing to do with it. I'm just alone for the ride, and folks, it has been a great one. <laughs> oh, we ain't done yet. Sure hey, I'm, never I, and I still got a few years left. That's Thank what you. I'm talking about. Yeah, heck yeah, you oh, do. Oh, my goodness. Oh. What school did you go to? Hardknocks.com. That's it. <laughs> that's not true. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever go, JD? I know. JD, you should have knew that was coming. I didn't even have to say it. Oh, we need to play BB to it. Let's go to Hard Knocks, boys. Did, so, did you ever actually sign up for a class and attend it? I made a few. You made it? Hey. Where? Where? Huh? At Tech. At Louisiana Tech. At Louisiana okay. Tech. Yeah. Hey, I didn't know it. They got them, uh, what do they call? Uh, Classes? <laughs> yeah. no, no. Teachers. No, no. Textbooks? No. <laughs> no, no. The classroom is is, is, is the, the professor's down at the bottom. Amphitheater. Amphitheater yeah. classroom. Uh, Amphitheater classroom. Oh. You can nap in the back of those. I'm surprised you didn't like going there. Oh, look. Hey, I didn't have to nap. Okay. You didn't uh, nap back then. We're learning a lot today. Oh, oh no. Oh, look, man. teachers are needed. And most of them, okay, are really great. Look, it, hey, I wouldn't be where I was at. I had great teachers all the way up. But some of them, Uh-oh. you know, especially if they were specialized teachers, Uh-oh. Uh-oh. like a uh, professor that's got MD behind his, uh, you know, or PH behind. Yeah, yeah. there we go, yeah. PhD. Not a medical yeah. doctor. A yeah, PH. Yeah, <laughs> if they've got that behind there, you got to watch him, okay, because we had one. Now, you could ask him, give him any date in history, and he could tell you everything about it. But no common sense because, hey, look, he was on the first floor for 10 years, okay. They moved him to a two-story building. Well, he was used to the campus is getting bigger, okay, and he was used to sliding out the window on the first floor, okay, to go to the next class, not to get in, in, in the stampede in the hallways. Well, guess what? They moved him up to the second story. The bell rung. He slid out the second story window and broke both legs. I refuse to believe any of that I, story. I'm telling you. Where was that? Is that why you the were tech? at tech? Louisiana Tech? The tech. The yeah. Johnny D. Check it out. Hey, we're going to fact hey, check that oh, while yeah. we take a break. Hey, well, we're going to fact that's... check that he while probably, we take a break. He probably will not find it. I wanna, <laughs> and I want to vote on it, too. Oh, well, we believe it or not. Professor they, jumps they're out checking me with t- technology, all right, and then they're going to vote on it. <laughs> what year was this? 1920? <laughs> I think it was in 67 when I went to uh, J.D.? Yes, sir? Do Get not it. Do not bust that open. But si, there's a candlestick right there beside no, you. Hey, no, he won't let me bust the case no, open. Do not break the case. But hey, find the key to unlock that. Or either get a locksmith up here to unkick it. I want to look at them 245s. Si, there's I a may, lock. I may even take them out to the range. and. You know what's better than 245? What? 35 years. 35? Uh, Research and development working for you, and baby. That's what, and that's what you get here with the that's Omega right. XL. Look, it's backed by 35 years of clinical research. All you have to do is just take it. You can take like two to eight pills a day. It just all depends on how much pain you're in. And it treats the inflammation that's causing the pain. It doesn't just mask it like topical creams and all that kind of stuff do. Plus, 
you don't smell like menthol everywhere you go. That's always a plus. I tell you, you don't want to go nowhere smelling like menthol. So what part of the menthol and you get a bottle free, boys. Hey, you do get a bottle free because we're gonna help get you started. All you have to do. To order Omega XL now is visit OmegaXL.com slash duck. That's OmegaXL.com slash duck. Or call, if you're into that into that world, 1-800-844-4888. That's 800-844-4888. You won't get one. You'll get two bottles of the Omega XL. Cy Robertson approved. That's right. That's hey, right. take it. And it's from the pristine waters of New Zealand, boys. So Johnny no. D, we're back from break. Did a professor fall out a window at Louisiana Tech? No, he Tech? got no recollection. Of not enough data. Not, not a- enough data, boys. I Google think. does not have any. Google does not have it. Okay, so therefore, especially since there was no names and no professional what he taught, nothing like that. I just figure if a professor fell out a window, it'd make the news. Well, I, I mean, I just in 1961, voluntarily or involuntarily, I just figured it'd make and, it and broke. Both, both of legs. Both legs. Wow. Yeah. I feel like you could jump out a second story window and not break both legs. Ooh, that's a that's a long fall if you hit yeah. con- right. if that's you hit concrete. Stories. Yeah, that's two tough. stories. That's that's now, high. he may have fell on a fly bed or something. I don't know. <laughs> but you know <laughs> but clearly <laughs> not, he broke both legs. So oh. I can't tell you because he wasn't there. No, no. So. Or it didn't <laughs> happen. <laughs> yeah. Another one another <laughs> one of my experiences at Louisiana Tech. Uh oh. Yep. Okay. Okay, and I, I think he taught English. Okay, I'm interested. Look, <laughs> the rule was if you was there 15 minutes, okay, and the professor did not show up, you can leave. Yeah. See, okay. I, I don't think that was ever a rule, per se. I think I just Well, we may have made it up. That's what students, I'm talking the about. The students yeah. may have made it up, but anyway. Kind of like the one that So, hey, we're all in the classroom, in this little <laughs> bitty small classroom. There are like 60 people <laughs> piling in this little thing. We're from shoulder to shoulder. His desk is up front, and there's a big trash can behind it, y'all. You know? So they start counting it down. Hey, we're down to it, boys. The time is playing out. I even got it, you know, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Well, you hear a little paper rattling. And, hey, when they got to one, he jumps up out of the giant trash can and said, you thought you wasn't going to make set class today, did you? He said, turn the page, so-and-so. <laughs> Young, yeah. They pulled him out, and he had two that broke legs. Oh, no, I, 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 no. That's how they fit him in the trash can. <laughs> that was your class? There he was. There he was. Oh, Lord, you were in that mercy. class? I was there that day. Oh, my you went God. to class for, three for, times for, and had hey, some pretty yeah, – yeah. got jumped oh, out a window, oh, got no, jumps hey. out of a trash can. If you if you went to school the same day as I did, people were jumping out of stuff. Yeah. Well, hey. that's – There you go. There you go, boys. Hey. Hmm. Interesting. College 101. <laughs> yeah, he never got to 102. That's right. Hey. Oh, we my never goodness. did make it to one. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was one. <laughs> just went a couple of days. Jace only oh. went what? He took bowling, and that I, was about it. I thought hey. that was Willie that took bowling. No, Look, w- Willie graduated. That's now. the thing that gets me about education. When you get up there to get close to the uh, get your degree. They have what they call electives, I mm-hmm. think. Oh yeah, you gotta have electives. Yo, know, and here's some here's some of the electives <laughs> that you got to do. And look, this is for higher education. I Ball, can't wait. Ballroom dancing. Boom, boom, boom. Basket boom. weaving. I never got those. I never got those options. I did know. take volleyball. <laughs> I took a class called volleyball and pickleball. Did you really? Mm-hmm. I took Dang. tennis classes. Really? I, I didn't get it. At Abilene Christian University. I didn't, get, no, you. Mm-hmm. I didn't get none of them. Maybe my I, electives were Latin. and. I was fixing to say, maybe, maybe I need to look up and see what the definition of electives are. Apparently, right. Martin is an educated man. Uh, he Martin's is an got, educated man. Now I really hate Martin's him. Got He's the, a biologist. <laughs> 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 I went to college way longer than Martin, but Martin's got a way higher degree than me. <laughs> hey, it is well, what JD, it is. JD, how did pull that off? Who, me or him? Yeah, yeah. It, how did you pull off? You went a shorter time and got a higher degree than J.D. And he's with this long time and he got doodly squat. Well, I didn't mess around when I got there. But, plus, he's related to you and the Robertson crew. Really? No, I'm not. J.D.? I am not related. J.D. Uh-huh. No. But, J.D. No, I, went, I went six years to get a four-year degree. It just nah, took me. Well, hey, that happens. 
I yeah. bounced you around. Wasn't in, you wasn't in no big rush, yeah. did you? Not at all. Cause, well, because I was going to go to nursing school. Uh-oh. Filled out that application. Huh. Now, you probably should have done better by going to nursing and getting a degree. Well, I, I did get a degree. You, just not in nursing. You're saying he should have been a nurse? Well, hey. Burley's a nurse. I know. That's a good that's, Hi, can that, you? That, hey. That nurse scares, Burley. That scares no, me No, no, death. no, no. Here you are. <laughs> nurse you, Burley. You've just had surgery and you're coming out from under the anesthetic. <laughs> and what are you look? You look at, here's JD's face in front of you. That's what I'm saying. Right, time for your bath. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm out on that. <laughs> yeah, no, there was a day. I had the application filled out. I made the highest score of all the guys, which was only three of us, mm-hmm. to get on the entrance I, I exam. Three. That yeah. ain't bad. That ain't bad. Hey, as Meatloaf said, Hey, one out of three ain't bad. Oh, he said two out of know, three. I know. But, <laughs> but JD one out of three. But that's how many he beat. So he beat two well, out of so three. That ain't I, bad. I filled it out. I said, "What am I doing?" And now I'm sitting next to you all these years later. I know. But hey, you would probably been better off being a nurse. You big, big money in nurses. That's, that's yeah. the rumor. Everybody's if you can put, phone, if you can put up with it, then. I, I got a good friend that's a nurse, and he's always talking about what he's got to go through. Oh, that, Sal, you're not real good with nurses and doctors and medical people. Oh, me and people. nurses and doctors do not get along. See, that's yeah. the reason I didn't want to be a nurse. Yeah, yeah. There was a class designed to scare people like me, and he and he and finally showed up. So I no, showed he up. didn't show oh. up. But people, they were like, "Ah, sometimes you get old ornery men who lie to you about their medicine." And I was like, "I don't think I want to do this." Yeah. You Look, had you had one job. You gotta understand it. I didn't realize I was that bad off as I was. Okay. <laughs> oh, you gonna until be I got in here and everybody that was here was talking about you big liar. We asked you and you just lied flat. The only person you didn't lie to when we was around was your wife. I said, well, the reason I haven't lied to her, she's liable to whoop me if I lie to her. <laughs> that story checks out. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you know, hey. Oh. You gotta know which side your bread's buttered on, boys. I, I did check. I did check into this story a little bit further, uh, and come to find out, all of size days were running together. So he didn't know one day from the next when he was going through all that, and he was like, "I thought I just took my medicine." That's you know? a good point because you were sleeping what nineteen, twenty yeah. hours a day. Well, hey, you gotta understand. Yeah, but when, that's hey, just a casual. Somebody's Tuesday. always saying, oh, "Hey, did you take your meds?" <laughs> The easiest no. answer is yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that makes sense, though. Yeah. He had no clue hey, what day it was. The honest it. truth is, I can't remember. <laughs> There's too many people got in my face. You take him with? Liar. Liar. Yeah. Liar. liar. <laughs> no. Nope. Uh. All right. So here we are. He is not a liar. Nope. He just really sleepy and really confused. Oh, oh you yeah. got to understand. And 95% truthful, Still. which we already knew that. No, no. You, hey. But I, like, I guess it hits everybody differently. But I'm telling you, when you think about it, a microscopic, whatever you want to call it. Okay. <laughs> virus. Virus. They bug. call him a virus. Bug. I think that's yeah. what they're yeah, a bug bites me. Mm-hmm. And it immediately, okay. This one didn't even have to hey. bite you. Mm-mm. Oh, hey. He, well, he entered my body when he did. The little hole he entered. Okay. Hey, all my energy said, go. I was gone. I love it. That right there is scary as it is. I don't love that. Yeah. You know, but then, you know, like Stone was coming up every every day and saying, hey, old man, get out of bed. You got to do this. You got you to gotta move. Got to move. Yeah. You know, what he didn't realize was, Stone, I'm scared to get out of bed because I don't know if I can stay up right. <laughs> Yeah, but we back on the fire, so we are. Oh yeah, no, yeah, yeah. we done. We've we done, covered. We done yeah. tried that trail, yeah, so hey. we'll get off of him. Look, I want to. You ready for fishing? Give me what is your best fishing story? I need to know Cy Robertson's best fishing story. Uh, buckle up, because I'm sure this is gonna. Be no, 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 no. It ain't gotta be when you caught the most. I no, want to no. know a Cy fishing one, story. The best one was, and I didn't even get to see what it was. Okay. Now, now down, this is a fishing story. No, no, okay, no, I like it. We're down there with Josh, okay? we uh, in a big boat, you know, and I don't know what side it was. But anyway, he's got a big motor. We're about an hour trip, and we're we're fishing right against the Mexican shore. Okay, we don't want to Mexico. He gone. <laughs> you know, and I'm throwing a little spinnerbait, okay? The first four or five casts, nothing like that, and boom. About a, out there, about sixty yards, about a forty-pound redfish is doing this, flying on his, on his side. 
Mm -hmm. Well, when he does it, the hook straightens out. You know. Gone. Give me another bait. Who's Gaunt. fishing with you? It's you uh, and Josh, Josh Gaunt. Stone, yeah. Stone and. Uh, Jace? W.E. Or... Yeah. Jace is there. Yeah, Jace is there. I don't remember who else. But anyway, I, he tied me on another bait. Thought there again. And it's the same kind of deal. You know? Spreading in. Boom, boom. Oh, missed him. Boom, boom. And then it was. Well, hey, one hour and 15 minutes later, I'm still cranking on this baby. Mm. Okay. And it's been an hour and a half. Okay. Well, I my dig. I see him, you know, just he fixing to come out where I can actually get a look at him. You see color. And then it was. About a 150 yard runoff on that reel. And I said, hey, somebody take over. He done whooped me. You know, so Jay said, well, hey, we done fought him for 150 minutes. He's fixed to come to the top of the water. So Jay, I mean, he's pretty bowed up. This is in his boxing days. Oh, no. No, hey. Jace. He's no, saying Jace. 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 Yeah. This was, this was yeah. in his wood chopping yeah. days. This uh, one oh, no, no. Hey, oh, look. Okay, okay. Vladimir. Oh, he Vladimir grabbed it. Was... Hey, he grabbed it, and all he's doing is. is this is, he's for those listening. Hey. He is reeling back and forth. Oh yeah, he <laughs> reeling, pumping up he and back and forth. He, hey, he's pulling him up, reeling slack, pulling him up, reeling slack. About that time, he just uh, pow. Yeah, we never got to see him. And they asked me, I said, "What was he?" I said, "Well, I hung one that weighed about forty pounds." I said, "The second one, he's anywhere between one fifty and two hundred, and it's redfish in the marsh." No, we out there on Mexican shore. I know that, but I mean, y'all shallow water fishing. Yeah, fish but couldn't hey, have been that big. Oh no, I'm telling you, it was redfish because he bit the same way. Redfish, and hey, 150 pounds. Look, oh, hey, man, hey, come on. And look, come on. That's what's going to the grave, boys. Oh, <laughs> Lord. 150 between 150 and 200 redfish. Oh well. I thought Sal right. was going to tell the story about when when he was uh, he set out a trot line him and some friends. And and Cy kept hearing something. He said, "Oh, that sound that sound like an op right there, boys. Oh, I hear something else." They no, said, no. "Cy, we hear some splashing. Oh, that's a catfish on no. that one for sure." <laughs> All right, no, boys. that's a gar. Cy uh. is sound fishing. No, 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 no. You gotta understand something, okay? We're at, we're at uh, Fort Bragg. You know, it's Friday, and and a buddy of mine. I thought you were in Mexico. No, we no, done we done changed. That's a different, different story. We're yeah. trot line fishing right. now. Yeah, but anyway, a guy had went fishing. The, the day during lunch, you know, he showed me a picture, and it's a, a high-fin channel catfish, weigh about five pounds. I said, you done that during lunch? He said, yeah. I said, where? He said, right down there on the creek, you know, about 15 minutes from here. I said, what are you doing for lunch today? He said, nothing. I said, well, you know, we're going to run out there. I want to look at this place, you know. So we run out there, and, hey, it's a beautiful thing. This is a... Uh, can't even remember the name of it now, but anyway, it's in, it's in North Carolina, Fort Bragg. So anyway, we come back after lunch, and I said, uh, well, boys, I said, here's what I'm going to do tonight. And they said, what? I said, I'm going to go to Walmart and buy me some uh, nylon fishing string, some hooks, a bunch of stuff. You know, I'm going to rig up some trot line, throw line. Yeah. And I said, probably next weekend, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go down there and set trot lines out on that little creek. Yeah, so hey, I go and I get and they, you know, so the next Friday they're telling me, we're going fishing? I said, oh yeah. I said, you go get shiners, you go get this, you go pick up a boat, <laughs> you know, boat motor. You know, so we, we head out. Well, we fool around and get there too late after buying all the hot dogs and everything they were going on, you know. <laughs> and we finally get the boat in the water and it's, it's getting dark. So there's a big tree that fell in, green limbs all over, you know, leaves. So I said, paddle me right up there that thing. I said, I'm just going to tie this trot line here and go across and run it up the shallow bank and then go across again. You know, so they did, and I grabbed the boat paddle and hit them green limb to make sure there wasn't no big congo in them, you know. <laughs> they said, what are you doing? I said, I'm making sure there ain't no big snake laying up there in them leaves. You know, and they said, oh, oh good thing, good thought, you know. So I tied on, they backed me out, you know. <laughs> I go across, put weights on it, you know, go across, and then the shallow water, I run it about all – about two foot deep, yeah. Mm -hmm. Running across, run out with that, and I said, "Oh, hand me another trot line." T 
tied them together. I said, all right, now paddle them across the other way, deep water. Okay. I said, all right, let's go back and bait them. <clears throat> so we'll go back and put the shiners on them out like that, you know. It's slam dark, you know, by now. So we get up there and build a fire, and we're roasting marshmallows and having a good time laughing and all that. And about that time I hear, slash, 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 in the shallow water. And I said, we already got one guard, boys. <laughs> you know, Number one. No, no, yeah. And they're looking at me and saying, have you lost your mind? I said, hey, I'm telling you, it's a guard. Hook number you know, one, yeah, gar. Yeah, you know, so next thing you all hear, I hear kaplunk. And I said, hmm. I said, that in there? I never heard that before. I said, I don't know what that is. I said, we got one unidentified object on the line and one one gar. About that time, I told him, poosh. I said, catfish. You know, and then behind that was poosh. I said, two catfish. A <laughs> <laughs> hey, little, bit, little bit further, okay? <laughs> yeah. Slash, slash, slash. I said, okay, we got two gar unidentified, two two catfish about that time. Plunk, plunk. I said, two more catfish. And they said, well, let's go run it, man. I said, hey, we, it ain't been fishing in 45 minutes. I said, no, nah, man, we got to let it go about, you know, it was like 9 o'clock. I said, we're going to let it go to, you know, uh, 12 o'clock anyway. They they kept, oh, man, let's go run it. We got four catfish on the five. I said, okay. So we get in the boat. I get over there, and ain't nothing on, on the deep side, you know. I get up there, that, that uh, and I tied it on to a willow tree, you know. And I said, I just took that shine, that willow limb would go under there once in a while. And I said, yeah, okay. Shine down, I started shining down the, the shallow side. I said, okay, there's two catfish, a gar, two more catfish. <laughs> oh, that's what there was. Hey, there was an eel. <laughs> Green. Okay. Oh. He didn't Look hear the sound of the and eel. Hey, he's seven foot long. That big one. <laughs> oh, Lord. No, no. <laughs> hey. Yo, how, uh, hey. Yo, so I, well, how, they said, how did you know? I said, I told you, I didn't know what that was. And I said, hey, that thing was slimy. Oh. I said, hey, one of you boys, yo, I said, like pick that. him up and lay his head on the side of the boat and then. Crush his head with a paddle, Boom. and then unhook that thing. We're gonna, I'm gonna use them. Cut, you know, y'all gonna cut up that and, and put it on as bait. Yeah, <laughs> so they did. Yeah, a seven so, foot long freshwater hey, eel you, in the hills of North Carolina. No, no, look. So and we I, had, uh, we had like five catfish. Okay, the all we kept. You know, bait back up. When you know, went. I said, hey, I, I, I'm scared to even think what's gonna happen in the morning. That's what you tell me. I said, hey, the morning is always the best. That's when they, they really run. You know, in the early hours. That's when they feed. Okay. You know, so look, I want to start up on this end this time, and all the hooks are bare. You know, look down the shallow water, and I can see all the hooks are bare. But I'm looking down at that willow tree, and every once in a while, I see it, it goes underwater a little bit. And I said, I said, I don't know if that's the current pulling the weight. I said, but that looked like, I said, you know what make this trip the best, boys? And that's what? I said, to have about a 30-pound op on that line right up there. And I said, oh, there it went again. I said, no, that wasn't the current, boys. I piled me up there. You know, so I asked him, I said, where's the net? You know, and I said, we forgot it. I said, what about them uh, oil-filled gloves that had uh, the rubber on them? Tar on them, you know, oh, where you could yeah. grip stuff. And they said, we forgot them too. I said, God, you idiots. I said, now I'm going to have to bare hand this sucker. <laughs> you know, and sure enough, you know, I'm bringing the line up like that, and he look, and look, it's just on that flat head part, it's just hooked, went under the skin, and come up. So if he runs, hey, he's coming loose. And I said, oh, God, I let it go. And I said, what are you doing? I said, I got one chance. I said, I've got to bring him up quick, grab him on the lip, and then he's going to eat me up when I do it. I said, but I'll have a chance to boat him. So look, I bring him up, he comes up, got him back, I said, go, grab him. Yes, he just as soon as I grabbed him, he just chomp. I get, I, <laughs> get him in the boat, okay? He falls off, and I am running, <clears throat> just blood. I'm dripping like a, I look like a pig. Somebody slices his throat. <laughs> There's blood going everywhere, and they said, "Yeah, you okay?" And I said, "Not really." And this creek is <laughs> <Not> cold. <really. laughs> yeah, this creek is cold, and I just. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking that cold water. He said, ah. I said, you, you know, they said, we can't believe you did that. He's still flopping on the floor. 
Uh, I said, oh, to beat the crap out of all of you. <laughs> I said, look what he did in my hand. He just skinned all four oh, fingers, mm. both sides. Now, that's, yeah. I can believe that fishing story. Hey, hey we'll, we'll get back into more of them fishing stories right after this. I kind of hate to do this, by the way. What's that? I fact-checked all size fishing stories. Which one? The 150-pound redfish. That's out. No. Hey. <laughs> no, that's out. Hey. <laughs> He had him about a 40-pound jack from all. I've, I've you been wasn't there. there. I wasn't hey, there. No, no, you wasn't there because I watched Stone I, catch a 350-pound giant grouper. You were on that fishing trip with us, wasn't you? Mm-mm. No. Oh, yeah. But I, no, I'm just where saying, he was at, I know Sidon got him about a 50-pound Jack Craval. Nope. They said, nope. Nope. no, nope. I'm nope. done with it. Nope. I don't, I don't call I, one of them, uh, what, I'm just black gonna, drums. Yeah, yep. I know. Yep. No, 38, 38. But, he was 38. But you ain't ever hey, caught I a just, Jack Craval. Hey, so. I just sucked him up and put him in the boat. <laughs> you were fishing with light redfish <laughs> tackle, and that Jack Craval no, no. said, watch this. No, that Jack no. Craval. Well, the 150 hey, pound like, redfish. That sounds like a singer, Jack Craval, boys. <laughs> I got me a Jack Craval. Uh, Craval, but we'll go with The 150 pound redfish. Uh, that would have been a world record by uh, 56 pounds. Yeah. Hey. So he's out. I told him. I told him that when I hooked it to him. I said, <laughs> I, hey, we just lost the world record redfish. <laughs> and hey, Josh will back me up on that, baby. And he almost doubled it. Hey. Double it. Hey. And then eels don't get seven foot long. Not freshwater ones. Not hey. that, That's like the hey. world record. Even. More eel. That was what he is right there, that one. That, that, in North seven, Carolina? He was seven foot long. Did you see that the words above it say European? Yeah. That was a real, that green, was a though. special no. eel. Hey, he ain't green. He looks the same. Yeah. Hey, no. just think, I'm telling you, look. We're on Wikipedia, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> he was that big around. He done. Side, side done got <laughs> he ain't around. giving up, Martin. Hey. Five or six hey, foot long. Look, Google Amphiuma. And see if see if that looks familiar to some. Amphiuma, I don't can't even. A M P H I U M A. See, that's the biologist talking. Yeah. Nope, he's black. Wasn't him. He says. Wasn't him. This one was solid green. Like, hey, a Grinnell? No, no, the the sixty sixty nine Charger, Dodge Charger, that pukey green color Puke they come out green. with. Oh yeah, how did I not make that correlation? No, no. Golly, I, I mean, how did I miss that? No, no. <laughs> You're born in eighty three. Eighty five. Hey, look, and look, hey, this is a good one. Uh, hey, look, we're going to work in, uh, what, uh, yeah, oh, not above us. Not uh, below us? No, Bastrop. Not Bastrop. Farmable. Crossing. Arkansas. El Dorado. Canada. Uh, going, no, in between <laughs> Farmerville and Arkansas line. What's that little town? Junction City, Bernice. Uh, God, I can't remember. But anyway, we Spiritsville. They, they had a. Uh, <laughs> There's only uh, so many. They towns. had a look. They had a particle wood board factory there. Okay. A particle. Okay, I worked there for a while. Look, this guy's got a Dodge Charger, puke green. Okay. This other guy has got a brand new Oldsmobile '88. Okay. They're racing. Okay, down the highway on about a five ten mile straight stretch. I'm behind him. I'm running ninety. What are you driving? I'm driving a Dennis Plymouth oh. <laughs> and, and hoping it ain't going to blow up. But anyway, look, the guy in the Dodge Charger, done, look, this thing has got stainless steel pipes, solid, through the hood with big locks on both sides. And look, he'll race anybody. The only thing you do, you don't get to look on the hood. What are they racing for? <laughs> for like cars, money? For pink slips. Idle. Yeah, yeah, pink slips. Yeah. This guy was always driving up in like a Porsche and told me, you want to buy a Porsche cheap? Yeah, whatever. But anyway, these guys, I'm behind them. Okay, the guy in the green charger goes like this to the guy in the 88. Bye-bye. And he stomped it, and I hear, now they're minute. running at least a oh, hundred. Come on, man. No, 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 no. Look. He didn't bark 90 the miles an hour. No no, 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 no. They're running 100 miles on. an hour. Johnny, look. No. Fact, fact when, check, no, no. please. Hey. Fact check. Bing, 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 bing. When, Has when something happened, that's never happened happened before. I followed before. them, and, and I pulled up in the parking lot and all that, and I said, uh, uh, you, you tore something up, didn't you? And he said, what are you talking about? I said, I heard the screech. I said, you... You tore something up. They said, no, that was burning rubber. At a hundo. Yeah, and I said, hey, you don't burn rubber at 100 miles an hour. 
He said, I beg your pardon? He said, you don't understand. Remember when I was out without this car for six months? I said, yeah. <laughs> he said, whatever you can do to an automobile has been done to this one. <laughs> and he look, barked his tires at a Honda. <laughs> he, hey, look, just, I'm going back home. <clears throat> yeah, you need to. No, 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 look. <laughs> hey, hey, when I get to where this happened, I'm driving slow, okay? I pull over, cut the engine, walk out in the middle of this highway, and look. There are two strips about two foot long. Hey, he spun the tires doing a hundred. Okay. Hey, I don't care if you believe it or not. I actually <laughs> looked at and seen it. Oh. Okay. Man, yeah. Are we sure he was going a hundred? Hey, I was running 90 and I was losing ground. In the Oldsmobile. Hey, no, mm. in the Plymouth. Oh, a Plymouth. Yeah. Mm. Was it Mary in Louisiana? No. My God, I don't, I'll I'll never Clear Creek, Bankswater, something like that, up no. there. I've never even heard of those places. That's because they don't exist. Just well, like no, no, I can't remember the, the name. Of, hey, actually, they got a particle board plant up there. Yeah. Okay, Linville. That's, now, that's, yes. But hold on, time out. You worked at the particle board yeah. plant. Yeah. Oh, this all it's all making a lot of sense now. Particle. They didn't have no regulations on that glue they used back then. <laughs> oh no no no! Hey, hey, it, hey, hey, it did. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. hey. Okay. it did hey. stink like high heaven around there. Oh, yeah. that. Had you just got off work? Huh? Had you? No, just... we was going oh. to work. Oh okay. We I was going to work. But I didn't hey. know if the fumes got you yet or not. Doing I a hundo. Oh, it Mark's might. spinning out oh, at a hundo. Right. Well, let's take one more break and we'll come back right. with the, the last little bit of this. No Good wonder night. he jumped that monster truck. Really? All right, Sean, what we got from the fans this week? What's that? What, what the, we got what from the fans? fans. From we got a couple of the hello at Duck Call Room. We've got three since this started. I haven't got to read yes. them. Hello. hello at duckcallroom.com. Perfect. Uh, we got a question from somebody, and I clicked the wrong one. This Oh, there it is, from Casey Beard. Oh, what Casey. an appropriate last name. Hey. Casey said, hey, Martin, first off, I'd like to say I love your podcast. So oh, well, thanks, Welcome Casey. to Martin's podcast, I appreciate everybody. that, Casey. Yeah, I, go, I, Thank I, you very I, much. I, I like to know that you can recognize greatness when you hear it. I and appreciate secondly, that. why is Uncle Si's beard shorter on one side? Oh, I do know the answer to this. Oh, I know it. I answer it. I know it for 500. Because if you look at him, he's right-handed. So that yep. shotgun gets caught up in that beard every time he goes to shoot. So if not all, not only is it shorter on that side, you'll notice it's darker, too. That is from the gunpowder residue that blows back to his beard after shooting. So there you go. He's got a, he's got a two-tone. It's, it's fantastic. The man's now a see, shotgunner. He's yeah. lied to you. I thought he was going to tell you the truth. He didn't. <laughs> the reason my beard is like this is I'm a half a bubble off. <laughs> Well, we all knew that. That story checks out. Why didn't you know that, Martin? <laughs> I, he's being kind, saying he's a half bubble. That boy, hey. But, I thought it was because every time you run away from the microphone, it pulls out on that one side because <laughs> you always end up on this side of the table, and I throw my microphone. No, it's because they, old age is slipping in, boys. Everything is going south, and like all your hair is falling off and all that. Hey. I wish That's I why it. there's no such thing as golden 60s. Somebody lied about that. Oh, si? yeah. They lied. Well, well you're you, not in your 60s. Yeah, you, oh, left, no. you left. I'm, I'm already past that, boys. I'm, <laughs> no. I'm heading toward the great 80s. Yeah, no, you're in them you them you, you up in them silver 70s right now, son. Si. Silver. Right. And I'm looking for the gold way. <laughs> <laughs> I hope we're still doing this podcast when you're 80. It'll be my favorite thing ever. Oh, we will. We'll have to wheel him on in here. Right. Wheel him on in here, boy. I'll be the first <laughs> right. to volunteer hey. for that. <laughs> um, next question comes from Kyle, my Kylie. friend Kyle. Uh, my friend Kyle. He, he came Kylie. Up, Martin, you said, uh, I think it was last week, uh -oh. you would ask the good Lord why did he make mosquitoes and chiggers and other annoying <laughs> animals. Mm -hmm. Oh, he may have the answer. He he does have the answer. Kyle's got the answer. Kyle oh, may I, have the answer. This ought, to si, be, this ought to be good. What do you think... Uh, that the reason those exist is because uh, they're a byproduct of sin entering the world. Thorns, thistles, well, mosquitoes. Well, I, I, I can't argue with him there. That's, he's, he covered his base well. He covered his base. It's hard to argue with sin yeah. entering yeah. the world causing yeah. mosquitoes. Yeah. I just thought they were bird food. Mm -hmm. Oh, they could be. 
Because we wouldn't have birds. Hey, because Martin was there. He talked about the time. birds, not me. Hey, I don't look, eat skeeters. Hey, did you ever wonder why a Martin, he's a little old bitty bird, but he's got the mouth the size of that Bible? Yeah, just like a whippoorwill. We're ta- yeah, we're same thing. Martin the bird. They're both, yeah. They go through the air with that, that Shovel mouth open. open. Hey, here it comes, boys. You reckon one of them's ever got him a red wasp, but dope popped him on the inside of that mouth? <laughs> Pro- probably, <laughs> probably. A purple tail wasp. I, I bet it. I bet it. You know, he was. A, oh, oh that's a rough one. him. Yeah, that's a rough one, boy. Uh, T S O chicken spicy, son. <laughs> Golly. Hey, uh, 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 next- look. You want me to tell you? I just thought about. It. I'd here's love why, for you to tell me. Oh no, here's spicy. Brought it up. Here's why I survived the virus. Mr. and Mrs. T's spicy, spicy tomato, tomato juice. juice. Hold on, hold on. That's what the next email's about. Hey, I'm telling you. Here we go. That's the greatest stuff it is. <laughs> so this week, Lucy, uh, Ron and Lucy from the far north woods of Wisconsin near Lake Superior. Wisconsin. I'm hey. so sorry for however cold it is there. Mm. I'm never, I'm hey. never even going to be able to look in that direction again because of how cold you must be. But they emailed in and said, on the advice of Uncle Side." We tried Mr. T's Bloody Mary mix without the alcohol, and it's excellent. So, Mr. T's, if you're listening, please send Cy Robertson a check to 117 <laughs> Kings Lane, West Monroe, Louisiana, 71292. No. Because this no. is your greatest we'll, folks. We'll, no, no, don't send a check. Hashtag will work hey, for juice. Hey, that's right. <laughs> send cases of juice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And there he's out. Go. He's out, by the way. Uh, he's oh, out no, look. Place. I was within draw. Hey, that five days with the. The cold weather, uh-huh. couldn't get out, and I run out. Yeah. So I was, I was in bad shape. I run out of a lot of things for Bloody Marys, too, during that time. All right. Just from boy. Oh, that's worst if you run out of Mr. T, Mr. and Mrs. T. Mr. And, is that Mrs. Mrs. or just I, Mr.? I, it's just Mr. Mr. He, he added that. He added no, it ain't. It's Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Mm-mm, Mr. T's. Hey. I got a hondo. Uh oh. Uh oh. I got a hondo. The hey. Fact checker. We need a fact no, no, check. We need a picture. No, no, I'm fact checking. Mr. Uh, T's. Mr. Pull and that, Mrs. Pull that label up. I'm doing it. Pull the. Put the hundred dollars out. Oh, there oh. it is, boys. There it is. Oh. Mr. and Mrs. T's. Whoa. Buddy, <laughs> Mary. Martin. Made from hondo. scratch. Taste. Philip's going to have to get you later. He's a little short. <laughs> We but, got, but he got seven dollars if you give want. him the seven dollars. You want the seven? Hey. You want the seven? Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, the first hundred dollars to not be exchanged That's, on the duck hey. call room. There's your seven. Hey. No. I'll, I'll sign it and skip it <laughs> over. Hey. No, I don't sign that. <laughs> Mister, I'll bring it to the poker hey. game. Mrs. Oh. T. It'll be there when you. Well, when baby. When, how did Cy si get something right? That's what hey. happens when hey. I don't believe him. I don't That's know. That's what happens when you. The disclaimer, boys. Oh. That's at ninety five percent again. Ninety five percent. You gotta watch that five percent. It'll well, get you in trouble. And now I'm thinking the professor broke both legs when he well, fell out the well, window. Well, the problem is, Phil, you're still ninety three percent short of your bet. So well, that's a bad deal. We'll call it even. I ain't oh. worried about it. Oh, we're still back on that boat. <laughs> hey. All right, which one of y'all sending us out of here with a Bible? Hey, I got to put my cool hand Luke glasses on on that one, boy. Oh, Lord. <laughs> we're getting all off right. track. Si, you got a Bible verse? You want me to no. take it? Hit it. Hit it, J.D. Hit it. Isaiah 41.10, one of my memo's favorite verses from back in the day. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and, up- and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Hey, so even if you're snowed in, even if it's 2020, even if pipes are busting all over the place, do not be afraid for better days are headed our way. Is Grandma still alive? She is not. Ooh. It's all right. I'm going to see her yeah, again one that's day. That's it. Amen. But Ma- Grandma was right. That's a good one. Then we'll see y'all again yep. next week right here on the hey. duck call room. We're out. Everybody be safe and warm. <laughs> and warm. He looks a little bit like Phil with them glasses on. <laughs> <laughs>